back oh, from uh, okay, Chia in German. So Luxembourg is where we're headed next and we'll just knock at the doors and see what opportunities are there. Nothing is promised or nothing is laid there, but just go knock on the doors and then um, we see what happens. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to sleep there, but if I sleep there, then I'll have to sleep on the still gonna sleep on the streets anyway because I have no money on me. I'm completely blind, not even one euro. Luckily enough I'm able to use the bus for a nine euro ticket that I had like for the whole month so yeah it's a good thing. So yeah, let's go. So guys, yeah, we just landed in uh, Welcome to Luxembourg, very beautiful country, and uh, yeah, so something crazy happened, one of my viewers on YouTube, one of you guys, is going to meet me up, he's also a bowler, and he's here, he came all the way from the United States to Luxembourg to come and search for clubs, so uh, we've been in touch um, lately, and then um, he told me he was here, so I'm like, okay, I'll be uh, in Luxembourg as well, so it's like, yeah, we can go do a site together. So it's, uh, it's just something interesting. So we're going to link up and then uh, we're going to search for clubs together. So you can see, guys, it's really like a um, very small wall all the way from the U.S. He had been following my uh, journey or something. And now finally we are here to meet and... Um, whew, if any of you guys is around Europe here and you think you can um, join us, you just let me know. We can, uh, no problem, we can uh, uh, link up and then um, we go on the hunt together, you know. Nothing to lose and um, so just connection, so it should be alright. So I'm waiting for him, he's coming and then uh, we'll go together. So guys, so finally, yeah. we're here with the guy. Bro, first introduce yourself. Yeah, bro. Finally, nice to meet you, man. I've been, I've been. Uh... <laughs> I don't even know what to say, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay you, it's, you have goosebumps, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So introduce yourself. What's your name? Yeah. So my name is Io Gabramako. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Now I'm here in Luxembourg. We hunt club hunting. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking for a club. So hopefully, we'll find a club. Yeah. Yeah, bro. All right, so guys, this is just it. We are going to head into one of the clubs now. We went to one already, and um, we were given a response that we can come. I mean, they just told us that like the first team, it's like they don't do tests, so uh, they just do direct signings. But they have the U23, so in the U23, they they just took. They say they start in August, and um, uh, they took our contacts, and they said they will contact us to uh, maybe go there for. Uh, just test individual and then uh, we see how it goes now we're going to um, another club just going to knock at the doors and uh, see because we've been calling and sending emails and messages but nobody no response. responds yeah no response. no response so now if the club cannot come to us yeah. we're coming to the club yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's it and now uh, that's how it goes but two Day two of another hustle. So we're back again on the hunting, checking out for clubs. And uh, have you seen it, bro? That's not a football court. Okay. So yeah, we're back again on the hunting for day two, checking for clubs. We went to one club already, and they gave us. Um, they they told us to come tomorrow for training, second division club. And uh, yeah, we'll go there tomorrow at six. So okay, so it's a long day. It's almost ten p.m. And uh, we just moved to over three clubs already. And we went to one club, and it was really a shocking revelation. Um, we found out something that was we didn't know they were like 
here there are maybe about 30 professional players in the whole league and uh, most teams wouldn't go an extra mile to maintain you or to get to anything so you could stay yeah anything like this so uh, basically all you just decide to do is just going to leave this the country because first it's expensive to live here and uh, second that not even the t all teams in the first league are professional so it just yeah it's only four three teams so it makes everything very complicated and uh, the guy who was there like told us everything in detail unless you have a side job here and then you can be able to now play and uh, yeah so all the professional players probably they must be playing the national team here in Luxembourg or uh, they big names coming from somewhere and uh, that's it but if you just someone studying off it's it's not a place to be so something learn and uh, Luxembourg is out of the picture now so let's see where we go next again um, so uh, we came to Luxembourg and uh, we're gonna have uh, just training with the team in the second league obviously after the other day they told us it's mo usually it's not gonna be a go zone so but I just needed to train anyway this club invited me to train me and uh, my friend so he trained yesterday with them I did not so <sighs> just gonna train and then see what uh, happens just to keep fit but not uh, necessary with any hopes of us staying with them and signing with them but yeah uh, let's go oh hey guys hope you guys are good so uh, i'm great too um it's been crazy 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 few days a week uh been to luxembourg and uh yeah i met one of my boys there ayop so um he came from us and then uh, he was also looking for clubs and i told him okay i'm in german so we decided to link up and then we we're going from club to club together and we went to i think almost five clubs or more and uh until the last day one uh one club uh we met uh one of the staff there and he actually gave us an insight of what it's like in Luxembourg it's like first of all there are less than not all teams in the first tier are professional and secondly uh, we have around 30 professional players so for you to play here the clubs don't usually get you accommodation they don't get you a work permit unless you are a national team player for Luxembourg or a high 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 profile name but if you're just trying to start up it's very difficult and uh, he gave us a story of how one player he also came from where he was a big name and then he came and the government didn't want to give him the work permit and um, they asked him to show a degree that he's a professional footballer like where in the world do footballers have degree that they are professional footballers but yeah anyway he told us like Luxembourg is not a place to be in so you guys really shouldn't waste your time here so we just decided okay we're no longer searching it there anymore and uh yeah we just started to do something else so i obviously came back to german and um trying to figure out again where to go next or what to find and it's really very uh difficult and draining and time consuming like moving up and down I mean in the heat but it's it's better than winter anyway if it was winter it would have been worse but yeah so uh, yeah right now I'm just trying to uh, gain my momentum back my mental and everything and then I would be able to go again to uh, such but uh, Luxembourg is very beautiful country one of the most beautiful countries I've been to and I would really like recommend anybody if you just want to stay there stay there but again they say it's expensive so it's not um yeah if you can afford to stay there live there man it's really very beautiful but it's also a good uh, holiday destination for anybody so uh yeah i that's what i liked about the country 
and I would have really loved to stay there for a year or two though they say it's expensive so most people actually work in the neighboring countries and they I mean they live in the neighboring countries and they come and work in Luxembourg and uh, yeah that's just how it has been so at the moment um, my head is blank or is it was almost blowing up but then I just give myself some uh, time up to refill you know like you say you can't pour from an empty cup so I needed to refill myself get back some energy and then we go again the vlogging is not stopping and uh, I hope you guys just keep subscribing because it's gonna be my source of funding someday man so you guys just keep subscribing and uh, just yeah share the content let your friends uh, subscribe too and uh, yeah we don't stop there but uh, Luxembourg is already like a no-go zone for me now same as German but German maybe there's one one to five percent chance that I will find something here uh, I had a friend we talked about uh, Austria but then he told me it's too late for Austria so the transfer window in Austria is closed so I cannot go to Austria anymore but uh, yeah uh, having a few talks with people and uh, we're gonna see how everything goes so stay tuned more is coming don't forget to subscribe okay it's free